Firstly, you had a, a very energetic Six Nations for Wales. Uh, how are you feeling physically ahead of these games for the Dragons? Oh, yeah, it was a tough Six Nations, but uh, like physically um, I'm feeling okay. Nothing major, no major injuries or just bumps and bruises, really. And what's probably not helping the matter is that you guys have got two games in five days. So how does that work as a, as a professional player looking to probably recover but also prepare for the next game? My guess is uh, less is more, I suppose, during uh, the five... five uh, they turn around, we played Sunday, we played on Friday, but our training hasn't been too heavy this week, we just, uh, it's more recovery based really. And presumably quite a little bit of time spent this week focusing on the Ospreys, maybe the coaches would have come to you with a bit of inside information, a couple of your international teammates you'll be coming up against on Friday night, what can you expect from those guys? Oh, look, they, they've gone well uh, during the Six Nations and they'll be looking to take that form into, into Friday's game. And, uh, we just look to uh, try to stop that. Uh, it's another Welsh derby, Friday night at Rodney Preda, obviously a, a really, really big game. What do the Dragons need to do to turn around some of the recent narrow defeats into, uh, into a win over the Ospreys on Friday? I guess we just got to take the chance that we have created. And uh, on Sunday again, we've left a few chances out there and, and actually did cost us a game. Maybe uh, improve a little bit on discipline too. I'm moving on to, uh, to looking at your performance, your time with the Dragons. I know that you've been named today as, as, as captain for the side on Friday and it could well be your last game at Rodney Parade. What are your, what are your fondest memories of uh, six or seven years that you spent here? Well, I, was, I was asked this earlier just then. Um, probably the fondest memory would be, I guess, the Ospreys at Rodney Parade. It's probably, I think it was uh, during my first season with the Dragons and uh, we managed to win that game. It's just the fact that it was like my first couple of games with the Dragons and I was coming against the likes of Mike Phillips, Ryan Jones and uh, yeah, I was just in awe of them at the time and uh, to get a result on the day was, uh, was great. People often talk about the Rodney Parade crowd and, and the impact that that has. It's obviously the only place that you've played as a, as a sort of home crowd. What does that crowd give you? How do, how do they lift you on a, on a big night like a derby? Oh, definitely, they're, they're behind us 100% all games, especially derbies. They are. Uh, uh, they just get it. They just get stuck into the other teams, and somehow, somehow, some way, they they do affect uh, the other teams, and we just uh, look to uh, capitalise on that. And of course, on Friday, you're going to have the crowd helping to rev you up. But uh, as captain, your first time captain of the Dragons, you'll be expected to do some about yourself. What words have you got for the for the players in the dressing room ahead of that game? Well, I've already told the boys it'll be a pretty quiet change room, but uh, nah, I'll, I'll try to come up with a few words to. Try to get the boys up for it. Uh, and just lastly, looking past Friday, uh, uh, an eight day turnaround until the game against Gloucester. Huge game for you guys. You've got fond memories last season in this competition of winning a course final and going to a semi final. Uh, you must just be just be excited across the team uh, looking ahead to that. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's another chance for us to progress through the tournament. But we've got to play our game against the Ospreys first, see how we come out of that. And then. Um, but we'll use the experience that we, we got from last year's competition and hopefully that will benefit us uh, this time around.